Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I get asked a lot of little questions about ingredients every single day. And one of the ingredients that tends to confuse people is cellulose. The reason being, there are so many different grades of cellulose, and they have very different functions in different types of formulas. So I thought I'd put a video together to show you all the different types of cellulose and which types of formulas we use them in and how they differ. Now there's a lot of suppliers of cellulose materials and different grades and different functionalities would probably apply to them too. But I'm using the Sensor Cell range from CFF as they were kind enough to supply me with samples for this video. First, let's look at how cellulose might differ when we look up really close. You can get various particle sizes from one micrometer up to 1000 micrometer and you can get short fibers, these are the types of materials used for skin feel enhancing and soft focus effects. You can get long fibers, and these are ideal for your absorbent properties and you can get globular particles which are ideal for peeling and anti-caking. First and most obviously, let's take a look at their Sensor Cell 200G range. Now this is a globular form, around 300 micrometer particle size, and they are used as exfoliants. So here you can see a finished product effect with the 200G as an exfoliant source. And they have them in a range of different colors. Next is their BC200 and BC1000 materials. Now, as you can see, these are quite fibrous. In fact, I can even pick these up. And these are the types of materials that get used in your mascaras for lash enhancing and volume effects. Stay tuned on that idea, I'll bring you a video soon. Next is some short fiber ranges. Now, this is their Sensor Seal OC30, their Sensor Seal BC20, and their Sensor Seal 10. And these are used for your soft focus effects to really give you that instant blurring effect in a finished product. And they're all quite small, 20 micrometers or 35 micrometers. What's interesting here is they have their cellulose from plant fiber, as well as an oat and bamboo cellulose form as well. So it can really fit within various product stories. And they've all got that beautiful soft finish effect. Finally, and one of the more common uses of cellulose materials is to create your toothpaste. So we use two different types of cellulose in toothpaste typically. One is to actually create the gel form. And this enables the product to stay on the brush for application. The other is another form of cellulose which is used for polishing. It's got to be really fine for a real micro abrasion effect to give the polishing effect on the teeth. Stay tuned on that idea, I'll bring you a video soon. As you can see, one inky does not necessarily describe the different functionalities, size or performance of these materials. Which is why you'll see in my formulas, we usually use a trade name, particularly where the functionality or performance of that ingredient may vary to another material with a similar inky name. I hope that's helped guide you through the various types of cellulosis and what to look for when discussing cellulose with your local suppliers. Remember to look at the size, that's really important, as well as the form, whether it be short fibers, long fibers, or globular. And remember to use trade names in your discussions so that you can be very clear about exactly which type of material you need for your application. I hope this has helped guide you through the various types of cellulose available. I'll bring out other videos just like this where similar inky names may mean very different materials or performance and functionalities. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.